Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the TechTik YouTube channel and to my another edition of the Buyer's Guide. This video segment is meant for all of you out there who are in search for the best value oriented, so to speak, PC components or IT hardware in general, depending on the topic, of course. It's here to filter out the overall market among tons of different models and brands that it has, basically to narrow down your choices to the best ones out there. Personally, I found myself a lot of times in this type of situation and this kind of overview can really help in moving forwards to your final decision. As you can see from the title, the topic for this particular video will be good quality power supply under $100. Although maybe not that interesting to majority of users, a good quality power supply is a must have in any PC configuration. That's why you should always spend a couple of dollars extra on it, so you can secure the well-being of the other components that it powers up. As you'll see soon, the offer is actually quite broad, starting as low as around $30 to $40 all the way to $100. That upper segment closer to $100 has a lot of interesting choices, especially since they tend to receive some noticeable discounts from time to time. You'll see some models which are usually a bit above $100, but are now well below that mark, so bear that in mind being it now or later, cause prices can change and it's possible that you'll run into an even better deal down the line. Putting the price to the side, the main focus of this guide is actually to point out and show you some of the good quality models of power supplies, which before all represent a good value and not just randomly pick anything that's within the price range. So let's begin. I'll do an overview of brands in alphabetical order and show off their series, which I think are worthy of mentioning for this occasion. Probably one of the best deals you can find right now, especially if you need a lot of power, is the Antex ES750 Platinum model for just under $100. Although feature-wise it isn't on par with some of the other 80 plus Platinum models out there, if you are in search for high efficiency good quality power supply that can deliver 750 watts, this model is a no-brainer. Beside this model, Antex High Current Gamer series is also a great alternative, where you can from $80 to $100 get an 80 plus bronze 520 to 850 watts semi-modular very good quality power supply. Their Edge series is also a good alternative, but it offers an overall lower value, while the True Power Classic series can be found on good discounts from time to time. Although they have a decent number of power supply models from Cooler Master, I would like to point out two models which currently look most appealing. And first in line is a bit older VSM 80 plus gold series, which goes for around 70 to $100 depending on the power output. Next in line is a bit newer GM 80 plus bronze series, in particular the 750 watt model, which also goes for around $75. Or you can get the 550 watt model for $55, which also has a semi modular design and is a good alternative if the VSM series is not available. Moving to Corsair, first thing that comes to mind is their CX series. All of this series is not at the top end compared to really high-end models, it's a very common choice amongst users. Their semi-modular CXM 80 plus bronze sub-series is a real bargain sometimes. For example, you can currently find the 650 watt model for around $66 or their regular CX series 500 watt model for $50. Other than that, the RMX and RM series are their top-notch examples for this price point and these 650 or the 750 watt models can be found for around $70 to $100. EVGA's models are probably one of the most popular ones when it comes to value-oriented power supplies. For starters, for around $40 you can get their 600B 600W 80 plus bronze model, which although not modular, is a great option for budget builders. Next in line comes their Supernova series, which has a couple of different sub-series. First here is the B2 series, which you can occasionally find on pretty hefty discounts. The GS series is a rare one, although a great alternative, just like the NEX series, which is somewhat okay, but I wouldn't recommend it next to all others, while the G2 series is probably the best choice out of those four. Although the Platinum P2 series is even better than the G2 series, it can be an overkill, but if you can find it for around $80 to $90 on discounts, it can be a real bargain. Although FSP does a lot of OEM in this segment and price point, I can only recommend two of their models. The FSP Rider S80 Plus Silver model, yes, silver, they exist, although a small number of them. And the still pretty new but really good Hydro G series, the 80 Plus Gold 750 watt model for $84. 
Roswell is probably not so often on users shortlist, but actually they have a couple of really good series under $100. Although an old series capstone is actually a great power supply franchise and here you will find a 750 watt model for $85 and that's coming from the redesigned capstone G series. The Glacier series is a bit cheaper before all because it's 80 plus bronze and not 80 plus gold standard efficiency like the capstone. It's also semi modular and for $75 you can get the 800 150 watt model which is a great deal although their hive model is pretty popular capstan is effectively a better product and goes basically for the same amount of money in that upper tier while the lower power models can be a bit more appealing we all pretty much know Seasonic and that it has an impeccable reputation when it comes to build quality. Although they tend to keep their prices above average, I would like to point out three of their models worthy of being called a great value choices. First in line is the M12 II series where you can for $90 get the 750 watt model. Next in line is a bit better and their well known S12 series where you can for $70 get the 620 watt model. Last but not the least, their EVO Edition series can be yours for around $89 the 750 watt model. Similar to Seasonic, Silverstone is struggling a bit when it comes to price. They don't have a lot of value-oriented models, although their power supplies are really, really good. Fortunately, I dug up two models from their newly redesigned Strider Plus series, and that's the 600 and 700 watt ones, which go for around $80 and $84. Thermaltake has been for a long time in the power supply game and although they don't have a lot of new models, their smart series is still amongst best and for $67 you can get the 750 watt model which is a really great deal or 650 watt model for $48. Last but not the least, we have the XFX brand. Although they have a lot to offer, the most appealing one was the $90 750W model from TS80 Plus Gold series. Maybe not a great value, but the 650W XTR model is also a great alternative choice if you need to have a full modularity and top-notch quality power supply, but it will set you back for around $90 and for $15 more you can get the 750W version. As an honorable mention, which is just a bit above the $100 mark, I would like to point out the Seasonic's latest version of their high-end model, the X750. As you saw, I ran through a lot of different models, even with trying to filter them out as much as possible. The market is simply huge and there's a lot to choose from. Whatever you buy from the mentioned models here, you won't make a bad choice. As I aimed for a good price to performance ratio, most of the models had higher power output, so they will likely be an overkill for a majority of configurations, but you can always buy a weaker model from that same series and save a couple of bucks. I'll put a link in the description box below, which will lead you to a website that roughly calculates your power also have in mind that some of these models are older and they don't support Haswell and Skylake ultra low power states, so be sure to check up on that, most of the power supply manufacturers tend to point that out as a feature. That's it guys for this time, thank you once again for watching, you can check out the pricing and more detailed specifications for all the mentioned products down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, feel free to share it also, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or which other hardware choices would you like to see me cover and of course subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel for more further content like this or you can just check out some of the other videos from before.